control of your body, but I'm in control of her body. So whatever I make her do, you have to do as well. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So then I stand behind the kid and I do this. She's in control. Where mirror is. <laughs> oh, there you go. Good. <laughs> and I have them do all kinds of things. You know, I'll do this and then I'll have her do like this and then I'll have them flap their chicken wings. You know, <laughs> you do all kinds of things. All right. Then, and there's different ways that you could play this game. It's like, all right, now what we're going to do real quick is we're going to switch roles, and you're going to become the doctor, and I'm going to become the patient. And this is her magic wand, and then I whisper to the kids, so like, she's going to use the magic wand, and then I go, it's a mallet. And of course, they'll think that's hilarious. So you're going to have this, okay? Can you go over to the computer? And what's going to happen is she's going to touch a body part of mine, and whatever that body part is, is I have to move it to the steady beat. You also have to move it to the slow. Are you ready? Yeah! I just Okay, here we go. Pass the movement to the so everybody can touch it. I was working on the line. Uh, okay. One night, my eyes beheld in the okay. years. Okay, the boat's going? Yep. Oh, good. Like how that head joint is? Yeah, yeah. restart your monster, you shut them down, then you wake them back up, you reactivate them, and you start again. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Then I have them pair up, and they get to choose who gets to be the doctor and who gets to be the monster, and they each get a magic wand, it's a <laughs> and then they all do it, okay? So, 